cheating in Call of Duty. It's become a real problem lately. Over the past couple of years, hackers have been flooding the servers like never before, with the implementation of insanely thick skill-based matchmaking. Plus, when you look at these streamers now that are making more money than freaking neurosurgeons, it's easy to see why so many of these skillless slobs are flocking to the internet to try and get their hands on whatever hacks they can to give them any sort of competitive advantage so then they can be making that YouTube money too, baby. But it looks like the party's over because Call of Duty is about to get a serious anti-cheat buff. These scrubs will have to find a new game to play. How about this one? Raid Shadow Legends, the free-to-play turn-based RPG where you collect champions and put them into teams and battle against other players, battle against bosses, battle against everybody. There are always challenging quests to complete and daily login rewards to collect. And it's available for free on PC and mobile. <laughs> You know guys, with it being Halloween season, I figured it'd be the perfect time to tell you about three of my most favorite spooky Raid Shadow Legends characters, Madam Ceres, Miscreated Monster, and of course, Barakis the Shifter, the legendary werewolf from the Skinwalker faction. Not only are these characters super spooky and amazing looking, but what's really scary about them is what they could do in the arena. This composition right here is scary enough to give anybody nightmares with miscreated monster and Madam Cyrus buffing, debuffing, and putting down shields, and Barakus the Shifter just doing what big scary werewolves do, being one of the best damage dealers in the game. You want to know the fastest way to level up your champions in Raid Shadow Legends? By farming the campaign, of course. You grind XP and get loads of silver and a few artifacts at the same time. So what's new in Raid? Well, this month, Raid's got a non-stop schedule of special events and activities, including an absolutely jam-packed Halloween lineup towards the end of the month. We're talking big rewards, tournaments against other players, special fragment events to get some brand new legendary champions, including one very spooky Halloween champion and much more. And if there's ever been a time to start playing, it's now because you won't want to miss this. So if you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan the QR code right here. And if you're a new player, you will get this epic hero, Chonaru, who is amazing in the Doom Tower, 200k silver, one XP boost, one energy refill, and one ancient shard, so you can summon an awesome new champion as soon as you get in game. Look at this cool champion you get for free. Chonaru is amazing. You will find your extra rewards here in your inbox, but you better act fast, guys, because it's only available for the next 30 days. And it's just that easy, guys. Click the link in the description, and I'll see you in-game. Happy raiding, everybody. All right, everybody. What is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. So, fellas, we got some big news regarding Call of Duty, and it's actually good news. It might be too good news to be true, though. I don't know how well this is actually going to work or how it's going to perform, how long it's going to take for the cheaters to find a workaround, but check this out. So, Activision put a statement out about all the cheating that's going on in COD lately. Check it out right here, fellas. Dear cheaters, we love our games. It's our passion. We're honored to make games for the greatest fans in the world. We don't always get it right. <laughs> that's a damn fact. We don't always get it right, but we're committed to doing our best. <laughs> oh, man. Doing your best? Not with multiplayer, that's for damn sure. Uh, cheating ruins the fun for everyone. So does skill-based matchmaking, bro. Skill-based matchmaking has completely killed multiplayer. No, one's, no one even plays it anymore. <laughs> Forget, where, where, where's your concern for all the multiplayer players? Cheating rules fun for everyone. No one likes a cheater. No one likes skill-based matchmaking either, Activision, but you still got it here. Our goal is to deliver, our goal is to deliver a fun and fair gaming experience. <laughs> fun? Fuck, they can't deliver a fun or a fair gaming experience. You guys are failing big time. For our developers and our fans, and most importantly, for our Call of Duty players everywhere, and thanks to skill-based matchmaking, I've been playing against Call of Duty players from everywhere, believe me. Cheaters aren't welcome. There is no tolerance for cheaters. And soon you'll know what we mean. Oh, damn, they talking smack. Now they're getting rough. They're not asking nicely like they were back in the day. Remember that other, uh, remember that other statement Call of Duty put out? Check out bullet point two right here. Oh, please don't use unauthorized third-party software to mod or hack. This includes tools such as hex editors that equip items that you have not acquired properly. We define this as cheating. There's no place for that in our game. This is a bannable offense, and you risk losing your account. <laughs> yeah, risk losing your free account. Oh, please don't use unauthorized third-party software to hack. Please, cheaters. 
this is hilarious, bro. So asking nicely didn't work. Surprise, surprise. So now they are going to be using these guys. Uh, ricochet anti-cheat. Warzone and Vanguard new ricochet anti-cheat details. Oh, man, they're getting serious now, fellas. Check this out, man. Call of Duty Ricochet Server Enhancements. Call of Duty's new Ricochet anti-cheat system delivers server-level enhancements to better provide back-end security and protection against hackers. It will be available when Vanguard launches November 5th and arrives with the Warzone Pacific Map integration later this year. Wow, so it looks like the party's over, man, for the cheaters, because let's be honest, the only people having fun in Call of Duty over the past three years are scrubs, reverse boosters, and cheaters. That's it. If you ain't a scrub, a reverse booster, or a cheater, Call of Duty's been an absolute miserable experience. Multiplayer-wise, multi multiplayer, Warzone 2. Been a miserable, <laughs> abysmal experience. Trust me, coming from a solo player, man, with the skill-based matchmaking and the lobby balancing, it is horrible, bro. Every single game feels like work. It's nothing but stress and aggravation. It's absolutely terrible. So in a way, I kind of feel bad for the cheaters because, man, these guys were living their best life over here in our war zone. They were actually having fun. I, I, I admire anyone who plays Call of Duty and has fun, man, because I sure as hell don't. I don't have fun to play a god anymore. This has legit become work for me. <laughs> Uploading videos to YouTube is legit. I used to do it for fun as a hobby, a passion. I used to love doing this. Now it's work. <laughs> it's just like another job now. It's honestly like... Oh my god, if it wasn't for you guys, I would never even touch this game, man. Real talk. I know you guys hate it when I say that, but it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, cheaters, you're going to have to either learn how to play the game, or, like I said, man, go hit up that link in the description. Check out some Raid Shadow Legends, man. <laughs> I mean, you ever play with Duchess? That's pretty much like cheating right there. A Sifi, the Lost Bride, she's pretty much a hacker right there, bro. So there you go. If you guys could pull her, good luck with that. But anyway, what do you guys think about the anti-cheat that's coming to Call of Duty Vanguard? with the Warzone integration. Will it work? And you know the hackers are just, they're up to the task right now. That's bulletin board material for them, that message that they put out there, man. <laughs> you'll soon, you'll know what we mean. The hackers can't wait to bypass this, trust me. <laughs> the, the hackers are like, ricochet anti-cheat? Come on in. Can't wait to get dookied on. <laughs> trust me, the hackers will find a way around this, okay? I mean, it all sounds good. Oh, oh we got a kernel level server. Oh, kernel level driver. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the hackers are going to, uh, the hackers are max prestige, okay? The hackers ain't even, they're, they're way above kernel level, man. These hackers will find a way around it. You can bet on that. <laughs> All right, guys, so just as I was about to upload this video, I saw this. I checked my Twitter feed real quick, and I seen this from the homie Modern Warzone. Breaking Call of Duty's new Ricochet anti-cheat had its kernel-level driver leaked to cheat manufacturers. <laughs> as confirmed by sources who wish to remain anonymous. We're still awaiting official response from Activision for this article. Uh, yeah, like I said, man, I don't know if this is 100% true, but... It could be. It wouldn't surprise me at all. And if it is true, this is fantastic. Pretty much means Warzone is finished. They will never have an anti-cheat that will actually work. And uh, the cheaters, man, like I said, not even 24 hours after this was announced, the cheaters have already, the cheat manufacturers have already told that kernel-level driver to come on in. And they're peeling it back. Layer by layer, man. They're peeling the driver and the source code back layer by layer. Trust me, fellas. Call of Duty will never get rid of cheaters, man. They'll always be one step ahead. I mean, if they're going to get the kernel-level driver leaked to them, not even an hour after announced, you can't stop these people, man. Just accept it. You will always have cheaters in God. Listen, man. Come play zombies, man. I mean, if you cheat in zombies, the zombies don't even care. Zombies looks like the game mode to play in Call of Duty from here on out. Zombies in campaign. Warzone is going to be infested with sweats and hackers, cheaters, and multiplayer is just an absolute joke. I mean, the maps that I've seen in Trash Guard... I mean, those beta maps were so horrible. They made uh, the USS Alexis, Texas, a Gustav Cannon. They made that look like firing range and raid, okay? That, that's how bad the, the Van Garbage beta maps were. Absolutely terrible. Multiplayer and Snore Zone is chalked. Uh, we're going to have to go play some zombies, fellas. It's going to be a big year for zombies, man. If this is true, this is absolutely hilarious. Like I said, man, the anti-cheats did sound too good to be true after all. What do you guys think about all this? Drop it down in the comment section, and I will see you on the next one. Peace!